In this building project series, we're gonna look at some ideas for pergolas. Now, I'm also gonna share with you uh, the difference between a trellis, a pergola, and a gazebo. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen, in this homestead building project series. I'm going to discuss the potential of me building a pergola, or a couple of them, and the difference between a pergola, lattice, and a gazebo is, well, lattice, it's just something simple. This is field fencing I purchased from my local feed supply store and I just hooped it, put it between my beds and bam, I have something to grow plants up and over trellis. Uh, a pergola can grow plants, but it's not a trellis. A pergola is, I hope I'm saying that right, is a, uh, a structure that shades out the sun a little bit, but is not, it does not have a solid roof. Whereas a gazebo is identical in design, it can be identical to in design to a pergola. But the only difference is it has a solid roof to shed off snow, rain, what have you. And that's the difference between a gazebo and a pergola. I want to build uh, here in the near future a six foot by 12 foot porch or deck and cover it with a gazebo type structure. And the reason for that is I need to put, I'm thinking about that corrugated clear uh, roofing material that allows the sun get through but uh it sheds off the snow because when we get snow up here in the cascade ranges <laughs> the snow falls off the roof and right in front of the door and sometimes blocks us in so we have to use the back door so i'm going to look at some different designs that i visited just recently and i'll share those with you now i do want to build a pergola or should I say a pergola like I said I don't know how to pronounce it I'm not Latin I'm not Greek I'm American anyway I want to build like a uh, maybe a, a 16 foot by 16 foot structure out here move the shed and build an outdoor living space out here on the north side of the house so here's some examples from my grandparents' homestead that they built. Somebody else owns it and developed it into this beautiful, beautiful homestead. I was able to go visit it. And I got these pictures and videos when I was over there visiting and got some inspiration for building my pergolas. Now all these are pergolas. Here's a couple of examples of manufactured pergolas. You can order them online or pick them up at Walmart or maybe even Costco. Uh, this is a small one. It goes around their gate and it can double as a trellis, if you will, but this is an example of a small pergola. Here's the next size pergola that frames in the front entrance. This thing is cool. Just two posts, it's a four by six post. Uh, it has a cement footing in the ground with these seal brackets that uh, bolt to the posts. It looks like the posts are about eight feet high. Then they have some two by eights going across them, a couple of two by sixes, and some uh, very uh, creatively cut uh, 
designs on the ends of the two by sixes of course painted white don't forget your lag bolts and washers because you're going to need that to hold it in place and also to keep it uh, more stable you can add these little uh, festive or decorative corner pieces to give it more um, um, rigidity these things are called corbels corbels again i'm not latin i'm not greek not egyptian don't know what they're called they're just corbels c-o-r-b-e-l-s whatever anyway moving on Here's another example of a small pergola in the back uh, yard in the garden area. It's just a simple, you know, design idea. Check this out. Uh, find your favorite design and try to replicate it. Uh, that, that's what I'm doing. But then you've got something on a bigger scale like what I want to put on the side of the house. I think this thing is 16 foot by 16 foot and it consists of four six by six posts anchored into the ground uh, along with uh, two it looks like they're 20 foot two by eights and several two by sixes especially the two main beams and again more corbels and then topped off with two by fours spanning the entire structure and also crossed linked with uh, two by twos. This is a simple structure, it's simple to build. I mean, look at the end uh, of each design of the uh, two by fours that were cut. Very simple. The two by twos weren't even um, designed proper, uh, you know, designed, uh, but it's still a great design altogether. You just have to figure out how you're going to secure those uh, two by fours on the other uh, pergola out front because those are two by fours and what I did with mine is I just drilled some holes and took some long screws and drove them right down through to anchor them to the top. This is my pergola that I built to frame my gate into my stock area. So hope that inspires you guys to come up with a nice design utilizing some basic timber. Uh, two by twos, two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights, six by sixes, some uh, cement, uh, some uh, a bunch of screws paint stain whatever you guys imagine don't forget the corbels they could be basic two by six corbels like they put on this big outside structure uh, uh, but the, you can go fancier if you want they have them available online do some shopping do some creative design and come up with something and hey share with me what you guys come up with I am interested to see what magnificent designs you guys come up with and share them with the channel I'm your host Jerry Hansen this is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm we're a frugal homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest Please stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing and then clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Yep, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also share our videos on your social media platforms. It helps us grow. We are under, we're about 14,000 uh, subscribers away for get, from getting the silver award. Bonus! Yeah, please like the channel, like I said, to give it a thumbs up if you're liking the content. Inspiration. I'm inspired when I go visit this place. Please stay tuned. Be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys on my next adventure. I never know what I'm going to do from moment to moment. My wife says I have uh, ADHD and she emphasizes the H part. I think I agree with her because I can't sit still for nothing. Bye bye now. Homestead Building Project Series Gazebos, Pergolas, and Trellises.